Hi, welcome to this um, video series where I answer questions from the readers of Monovator.com. Monovator is the leading UK blog for personal finance related issues. The question in this video comes from Tony, who asked whether um, investors should invest in ETF exchange traded funds that seek to mimic hedge fund uh, exposure, um, and whether that makes sense for a passive investor. Um, in short, I don't think you should. Uh, there are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, it's incredibly hard to mimic hedge fund um, exposure. There are perhaps 10,000 hedge funds in existence today doing all sorts of things. But in reality, it's really, really get hard to get access to a lot of them. Uh, they're closed for new investments, etc. And, and besides, it would be impossible to create uh, investments in the proportion to the sizes of these hedge funds. So the exposure you end up having would probably be quite far from the actual hedge fund global exposure. Uh, I think what a lot of these ETF providers try to do is not to replicate an investment in the hedge funds, but to say synthetically, what does a hedge fund exposure look like? So that would say that a hedge fund exposure is like having 0.2 of the S&P, 0.1 of oil, 0.2 of gold, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, but you're creating a lot of, lot of tracking error versus the actual hedge fund industry. Um, but coming back to that of being a passive investor, to me, a passive investor means someone who doesn't think that through active security selection, they can outperform the market. Now, I think there are a lot of benefits to coming to that realization, but a hedge fund is almost the opposite of that. And by picking the people that we think can pick to outperform the markets, namely the hedge fund managers, we are indirectly being, being the pickers ourselves, namely by picking the funds. Um, so I think hedge funds are almost the opposite of what a passive investor should do. Um, and, and, and generally, the huge fees and expenses associated with the funds put you so far behind that unless you have some special angle, it's probably worth staying away from. You can then say, should you invest in, in, in the hedge fund sector as an asset class? Now, there's probably been some value created in the hedge funds over the last couple of decades, but there's also been tons and tons of fees. There's also selection bias, what we tend to hear from only about the successful funds, much like in the mutual fund industry, um, and we don't hear about the huge failures because they sort of tend to die and disappear. Um, so it's another reason, I think, just to stay away from this type of investment. And um, I would say that um, if you're interested in funds and you're able to do so, because they often have minimum investments, I would do the work and find a few funds that perhaps have unique uh, investment opportunities inside of angles, etc., and, and invest in those. That can be an incredibly exciting thing to do, um, but it's also something that's hard for regular investors to get. But in any case, I think it's slightly outside the scope of this question. Um, but in any case, I hope that answers the question. Um, my name is Lars Croyer. I'm a former hedge fund manager who's written a couple of books about finance, and I'm now doing these videos as a hobby. Um, the premise of a lot of my work revolves around how incredibly hard it is for investors to outperform the markets. Um, I explain what this means and why I think it's likely a hugely positive thing for investors to come to understand and embrace this fact. There's more about this in my books and other videos if you're interested. But thanks a lot for watching. As I said, there are other videos in this video series, but in any case, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this one.